has been pre-planned. This is the third in a row. They have them last year and the year before. It's called Cougar 13 this year, the operation. It involves 10 vessels and that takes months and months of planning. They haven't just drummed this up in the last three weeks ever since this row between Spain and Gibraltar has started. It takes a lot of planning, including planning with the Spanish government. Some of these ships, some of these 10 ships, will be docking in the port of Cadiz during their journey. One ship, HMS Westminster, will be docking in Gibraltar along with a couple of auxiliary ships. But the vast majority of the fleet will be sailing past Gibraltar on into the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, and on into the Gulf. HMS Illustrious, aerial pictures we can see. It's uh, carrying helicopters and marines and various others. Just one of the 10 ships that are part of this flotilla heading down to that part of the world. It's good timing for the Gibraltarians. They are painting this as a, a Britain flying the flag in the face of Spanish pressure as a result of this row over the reef. But the British and the Spanish government are very much playing it down, saying it is a routine operation. But of course, just imagine you are one of the 35,000 plus Gibraltarians who voted overwhelmingly in various votes to stay linked to Britain. Seeing a British frigate come into your port flying the British flag will be of some comfort, particularly at this time. We keep coming back to that word at this